Hello YouTube, Ziggy here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install CrunchBang Linux 10 on your old computer. So I have a Dell Inspiron 1200. It's an 8 year old computer. Uh, a computer this old, you're going to want to have your wireless card or plug into Ethernet. Unless you have a built in wireless card, then you have nothing to worry about. Uh, but as soon as you get this installed, you're going to want some internet to do some updates. So I already got my bootable USB flash drive here. Now I'm not going to tell you, like, show you guys how to create one of these here in this tutorial. I'll do a separate tutorial on that. On both USB flash drives and on live disks. So, start with powering it on. I'm going to hit F12 key here for my one-time boot menu. Now we're going to choose USB storage device. Now because this is an old computer, I'm going to scroll down to text install. Okay, so now we're going to choose our language, English. And I'm living in Canada, so I'm going to go ahead and choose Canada. Next, you're going to want the key map, which is going to be defaulted to American English. It's going to be uh, loading its components, and I'll be back here shortly. Alright, so now you're going to want to choose host name. I usually just leave it at default, Crunchbang. Full name for user, so I'm going to enter Ziggy. Username for your account, Ziggy. Choose a password for new user. So I'm gonna input my password. Now it's gonna tell me to re-enter that password. Just to make sure I've typed it right. All right, now it's gonna ask you for your time zone. So I'm living in Winnipeg, so I'm gonna choose Central. Loading additional components again, so be back in a second. Well, I guess that went pretty quick. So, what I'm going to do is we've got a few options here. One is guided, use entire disk. Guided, use entire disk and set up LVM. Guided, use entire disk and set up encrypted LVM. And that's the one I'm going to choose. Set up the encrypted LVM. Also, you could choose manual, set everything up manually, but I'm just going to go with the encrypted LVM. So you select here, I got my flash drive and my hard drive on top, so I'm going to choose my hard drive because I don't really want to install it to the flash drive, that wouldn't work very well. And all files in one partition, recommended for new users. Uh, you can do separate home partitions and all that. I just go with the all files in one partition. Guy pretty much just uses his uh, a network, uh, well, as I set it up as a server, download my stuff, and have an FTP server on there so I could access my files remotely. Alright, so it's going to ask you here if you want to write these changes to the disks and all that, whatever. So I'm just going to choose yes. So I'm going to let this go ahead and do its thing formatting the drive in that and I'll be back shortly okay now that, that is finished it's gonna ask me to input my encryption passphrase now it's gonna ask me to re-enter it Alright, now it's going to verify everything to me, and it's going to ask me to undo changes to partitions, or finish partitioning and write changes to disk. So that's what I'm going to click on. Now it's going to ask me again, and it's going to write these partitions, so I click yes. I 
I don't know, let this do its thing and I'll be right back. Okay, so now it's going to ask if you want to install the Grub Bootloader on the hard disk. So, you're going to want to choose yes. Okay, so now you'll be at the screen that says installation complete. You're going to want to click continue. Then it's going to finish the installation. Now it's rebooting the computer. So you're going to want to choose the top one, crunch bang. Now you're going to enter in your encryption passphrase. Now here crunch bang is booting up for the first time. Oh this is what it's gonna be like every time you boot up crunch bang. Now here you are at the login screen. So you're going to go ahead and enter in your username and then your password. I messed that up there. Now here you are, you're logged in to CrunchBang. So first thing you're going to want to do, because you're going to be greeted with this welcome screen, this will take you through the process of updating. So first thing you're going to want to do is get connected to your internet. So, uh, Now we're connected to the internet, so this thing here is going to tell you to hit any key to continue. And it's very straightforward, it's just you follow the steps. Before you can continue, we need to make sure your system software sources are up to date. This script will now execute the command sudo apt tag get update. Hit any key to update your software. So it's very straightforward, it's going to ask you for your password for root. which will be whatever you use to log in will be the same password as this and uh, just ask very basic steps it'll go through it'll start updating everything and then it will go on to the you know the next it'll ask you if you want to install LibreOffice and printer support and and all that and you just yes you know S to skip any key to continue and install whatever it asks you or update whatever it asks you and now, as soon as that's done, that's that's it. You got CrunchBang Linux 10 on your system, and uh, you're good to go. Let's see here. It's asking me, uh, would you like to update the installed packages on your system? Yeah, any key, because we're going to want updated software here. And that's all there is to it. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.